Hello and welcome to Tele Innovator. This is the now page update for October 2023 and I feel like crap. I might seem like I'm doing pretty well and I am on the mend, but I'm just now getting my energy back after a long month. So in the last update, I'm not even sure if I made a video last time or not, but I got pneumonia. Presumably I got it from the conference that I had gone to and I had gone to the ER or went to the hospital for the first time in my adult life. It was kind of just a weird experience. I was like, at 5 a.m., I'm sitting there in agony, and I was thinking, this is not normal. I need to go to the hospital, and it turned out I had the low bar pneumonia, and after a week or so, I had my antibiotics, super strong antibiotics, mind you, but I guess the dose might have not been high enough or something because I was still sick. A week later, I had another... Uh, clinic visits and so I, I made a clinic visit actually and they gave me another antibiotic one it's more wide-ranging maybe not as strong but it should have gotten anything that I would have had that's typical I was still sick and that third week I was fighting these terrible fevers and feeling ter like just bad every single night and even during the day I would wake up just 50% energy lacking any kind of motivation or physical energy and I was fatigued and weak for the whole month basically and it sucks because I wake up wanting to have more energy. I wake up trying to get past 100%, maybe give myself a little bit of a boost, and then get started with the day. And so when you're waking up at 50% energy, it's just, mm. Let's roll that intro. Well, turns out I was still sick. And so after this third week, that fourth week, halfway through, I had another clinic visit. And within 10 minutes, they're like, yeah, we're sending you to the ER. And they gave me three more antibiotics, different kinds. I had five different kinds at this point. And so they were nuking my microbiome, but they wanted to get rid of anything I had. And yet I still showed signs that I was not feeling good and that I wasn't getting any better. And it turns out the pneumonia moved higher up in my lung and there was fluid in my lungs, which that's not good. And the reason why I'm starting out the now page update with this is that it's very prevalent and relevant to my life because I haven't been able to do anything really. Like I've barely been doing any content and that's not just because I was moving tools. It's also because I just didn't have energy to do it. I didn't have enough energy last night to do this. I wanted to, but I just, I almost thought I was going to skip the video just because I just like, I can't get around to doing this. But as it turned out, the fluid and the movement of the pneumonia was pretty atypical, especially since I'm such a young, relatively healthy adult. They kept me overnight, two nights, and kept the observation. I kept having a small fever the first day, which is a bad sign, so they kept me that second night. And the doctors were just completely shocked that after the five antibiotics, after that whole nuclear war in my stomach, they still, I was still sick. And they discovered that it might have been Legionella, which is something you get from being in a big enclosed space with a lot of people, usually due to the HVAC systems, considering the large space having to be cooled. Yeah, it's a long story, and I'm not going to get too long into that because, yeah, it's just yeah, it's, it's too much. But I'm getting better now, and I want to express my gratitude to the doctors because that was awesome of them to be so caring and so helpful and so eager to fix the situation. Probably was a unique case study for them anyways because I would wake up in pain and just sheer agony and I wrote more about it in the post I don't want to go too deep into the video but now I'm waking up I actually was able to lay f relatively flat last night for the first time in a month which was nice because that's how I sleep you know sleeping on a stack of pillows to lay vertically is not pleasant and so now at this point I'm trying to get back on track and I got the now page update done I'm going to keep working on stuff. I'm going to keep planning out the content. I'm going to keep moving the content over. I'm probably going to leave the modular degree and other stuff in Obsidian for now because just moving that all over is not relatively easy. Now, I just need to focus on recovery at this point. They gave me a month of antibiotics, which is going to destroy my microbiome even more so, but okay, whatever, I have to do it. But I'm finally waking up with energy, at least a little bit. I finished the interview I needed to get done before I went into the hospital. I managed to get some other content kind of planned. And so I'm hoping that now I can just focus on capacities, get the content over, and start planning that out and make sure I have that overall baseline still going. Because right now, nothing's being done besides this now page. Now, I will say 
the ability to plan content in a pass capacities is not that much better than obsidian but it is quicker and that's probably good enough because honestly at this point it was very tedious to make any kind of reminder or plan in obsidian honestly i don't know where i'm gonna go from here because i have to get stuff done and i don't know exactly what trajectory i'm gonna aim towards i started seeing some massive growth when it comes to views and just overall engagement on the gaming channel so I've been posting to there quite a bit. I do need to post more TikToks and reels and shorts on the main polycast clips. And so hopefully that'll continue growing. So beyond that, I've only been posting those shorts. And since the gaming channel has been growing, I really don't want to ignore it. And I need to finish that State of the Case series anyways. So I wonder if I might need to focus on that a little bit. But honestly, I'm just glad I'm getting better. Thank you for being here. And I just want to keep this short. So have a good day.